and welcome to my channel. My name is Molly and here we do sewing, crafts, and fun. Today we're sewing! Years ago I got invited to a Nintendo themed party and I decided to go as Princess Peach. Recently as I was going through storage I found my Princess Peach dress and boy is it not very cute. I decided that I wanted to remake this dress as deluxe as I possibly could. I'm going to take this from a Party City costume and turn it into a full cosplay. Let's try it on to see what we're working with. Okay, this is the dress. It is fine. It just doesn't say Princess Peach to me. It was definitely advertised as like nondescript Princess Toadstool. Why is this jewel black? Peaches is gold and blue. Um, it does have this ripply skirt. That's cute. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the scalloped edges. What I know I want to do is make this a full length dress. Go down to the basement and look for any pink fabric that I can find. All right, this is all the materials that we're going to be using and honestly I thought there was going to be a lot more pink or at least at least a lot more pink opaque fabric. This is the closest thing that I have to- we have maybe two and a half yards of it. We're gonna have to really stretch and see what we can do here. There's one peach costume where she has like some white down the bodice and the skirt opens up to a white petticoat. I think it, I'll try and find a picture of it and put it here. That's the look I'd love to go for with this outfit. I'm scared and I don't know what to else to say, so we're gonna get started. We have a problem. This is our peach pile. The base dress itself is the lightest color. Everything else is a very dark pink. So I'm just trying to figure out what can go where to make this dress make sense for the character. I decided quite spontaneously that it was time to buy a dress form. I'll put a link in the description down below. But boy golly, did I have trouble putting this one together. What is happening? Oh my goodness. With some assistance from Papa, we were finally able to get the dress form onto the stand. Good morning, Walmart shoppers. I have bought this hoop skirt that we're going to put on the mannequin. I've also padded out the waist a little bit because her waist is slightly smaller than mine. Ooh. And now that we have all this structure, we're gonna start putting together our design. I think I'm gonna start by trying to make a new neckline for the dress and then I would like to take bits of the skirt and use that to make a bigger puffier sleeve. I bought some fabric. This is a cotton broadcloth. It's the closest color I could find to match and I think it's gonna work okay. So I'm just gonna get started on that and we'll see where we could go. Thoughts, issues. I want to make the sleeves of this dress out of the remainder of the skirt so that I am not basically just building a whole new dress. But this shape that the skirt is in is not very sleeve-like. So I think I'm going to have to kind of wing it and see if I can just <laughs> make a puff sleeved happen with this weird half circle that I've got. It's time to do some futzing around and finding out. We got these tubes. Put my arm through the tube. See if the tube works as a sleeve. Yeah, it does. Flap, flap, flap. Gather the tube. We like it. Yeah. Sew the gathers of the tube. Put on a cuff. Da 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 da. Ta da! It's very ugly. <laughs> Again, it's. There's always that point where everything looks awful. I'm actually pretty hopeful about this. We got some sleeves. We've got the coverage that I want. The jewel's gonna go right here. I'm gonna make something cute to go on the front. I think, I think we're actually gonna be in a pretty good spot. 
Hello there. I'm feeling kind of sad. Sometimes it just hits you. I don't know why. I saw a really cute butterfly today. Two cute butterflies, actually. I'm gonna work on the skirt and hopefully some sewing will help me feel a bit better. Do what you love. All right, this is what I'm thinking. We're gonna have the pink overskirt and then those floopy epaulet kind of like things. I have no idea what they're called. Peach has them, Cinderella has them on top here. And then we're going to have a white petticoat showing underneath with this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. It's all covered in pearls and it was so stupid expensive. I think this is gonna be a great use for it. It's gonna be so pretty. We're going to make a waistband for that gathered skirt and we're gonna put some interfacing on the inside because I think this needs to be extra strong. There's gonna be a lot of fabric attached to it. I don't really know how I'm gonna put this part of the skirt together, but I have to hem this big white piece that's gonna be the petticoat. My plan is to do that and hope that it comes to me while I'm sewing this. I have the pearl overlay fabric down on the piece for the petticoat. If I want to make it so that I can gather the top of the petticoat to fit nicely around my waist, I'm going to have to pull off a bunch of pearls at the top of the fabric. All right, I got all of those pearls yanked off the petticoat and now they're all in this little container. I'm gonna keep them and see if maybe I can sew them onto some other part of the costume. Oh, also, Kate made me watermelon juice and it's amazing. petticoat that came with the original dress and I thought I could use this lace from it to go along the bottom of the petticoat for our new dress. It's a very cheap lace. Hopefully it'll hold up. <laughs> I'm not sure it will, but we'll see. Surprise, surprise, got distracted and stop working on the dress. I had to walk my Rover dog three times yesterday and then walk my own dog, so we were actually out of the house way more than I thought. What I am working on now is the side bunchy things. I have this rectangle of fabric and I think I'm going to need to hem the sides and gather everything up kind of in this sort of shape. I'm not sure if I should make this into sort of like a curved half moon shape or leave it a rectangle. It looks like it will need to be a curve, but I, I didn't want that to be the case because it's harder to hem a curve. However, we want this to look cute, so we're gonna do it. Oh, I think I just spent an hour gathering all of this fluff to put onto the princess poofs. This is sort of what we have going on right now. Peach is a real fluffy girl. So this is what we're gonna do. Dog walking has been going well. My last two interviews went well. Going to another tomorrow. I feel conflicted. Like, I want to get another job, but so hot up here. But having this free time is just amazing. Peaches, 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 peaches. That sounded like a dying llama. Oh boy. So we've had some stops and starts, but today it's raining and I've already walked my dogs. I don't have any other plans but to work on this costume. 
I'm all for rain if I can stay inside and be cozy. But when I have to go out in it, it's a different story. <laughs> These were curly earlier. Anyways, we're gonna finish the poofs. We're gonna work on the bodice. Looks really bad still. <laughs> well, um, I'm just gonna keep going. Hopefully with the skirt. These side poofs will look better, but they're attached to the bodice now, so at least we're making progress. <laughs> okay, now I have to do that kind of like uh, stomacher that she has here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I really hope this turns out cuter than it looks right now. I thought maybe if I put it on the mannequin again it would look better, but it doesn't. And I don't know what to do. Are you okay? You fell? Okay, it seems fine. So I decided that it wasn't fancy enough with just the lace and I put some pearls on there. I'm gonna be cutting this out so that just the overlay pearls are here. And then I think, I think I wanna outline the stomacher design with some lace. So I might go to Joanne's and get some more lace. I'm getting low on pink thread and I'm completely out of white thread as well, so that would be good to have. I've made these little uh, gathered poofs and I'm gonna put them on the top of each of the sleeves to give the puff sleeves more volume. I've not tried this before, but I have one dress in my closet that has sleeves like this. So we'll see if it works. Let's do wrap up. This uh, project was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but I'm pretty happy with the result. I think the dress itself is pretty good, but if I'm going to wear it to a convention, I'm definitely gonna make some changes. I really don't like how the puffy things came out on the side. I think it would have been better if I had pleated them around the waist. And uh, <laughs> this was my first time trying to craft anything with foam. And I don't think I did a very good job, which is fine. This is bad. The crown is not great. I'm happy with my earrings though, so that's good. I think I'm going to be ordering a set of jewelry for Peach that's professional. I also don't have gloves. I thought I did, but I don't. Otherwise though, I love the dress. I love, I'm, I'm like a bell. I can just swish back and forth. I do think it needs more lace, more flair. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, feel free to give it a like, and if you wanna see more, please subscribe. We're gonna be making a lot more fun videos in the future. Be brave and do your best. Okay, thanks, bye.